Hi, I'm Laurent and I'm going to talk about the rapid annotation process in Genome Quest. The applications of this workflow range from metagenomics experiments to the characterization of new pathogens, bacteria or viruses for example, starting from 454 or Sanger sequencing reads. The way it works is by comparing the sequences you upload to several reference data sets that you choose, genomes, genes, mRNA, etc. In this example, um, we are going to use a data set coming from a pure sequencing of DNA collected from activated sludge basin of a wastewater treatment plant in Charlotte. And here is the article. So as you can see here, the result of this experiment was reads from the 454 FLX platform and generated 378,000 uh, reads out of those uh, examples. So now let's get back to the submit page. As you can see on the rapid annotation process submit page, you just need to type a meaningful run name, then choose what are the sets that you want to analyze, for example, wastewater, and I could select some others with control. In this case, I just want to use the wastewater plant sample for the analysis, and I want to annotate this set by bacteria, virus, and I could select others here. I, it could be fungi, etc., etc. So here I just need to submit, and that's pretty much it. Now the workflow is launched, and after a few hours, this is the report you get from this experiment with a statistics part uh, telling you how many reads were analyzed, what is the length of the reads, the extremes, uh, the number of non redundant reads, assigned and non assigned. And if I keep scrolling down, you will see some statistics about the split up by data sets, the reads annotated by GenBank bacterial, environmental, etc. And then we keep scrolling down and we see the split up by data set. Here, if we had several data sets, we would have multiple lines. And the database distribution, how many reads annotated by each division. And if I keep scrolling down, you will notice this pie chart telling you what are the 10 most expressed uh, organisms in this sample, as well as the comprehensive list of organisms right here with their taxonomy ID and the number of reads for each. Now, if I want to drill down into some of the specifics of this experiment, for example, the bacterial reads or the reads annotated by bacteria, I just have to click on this link and now we are browsing the 72,000 reads annotated by sequences from GenBank bacterial division. And now you can see the description, the identifier, gene name if available, and I could expand the rows to have a look at the annotations as well as the evidence for this annotation. This is the alignment, the best alignment with some percentage, score and e-value. Now on this page you can do a lot. You can sort by column, you can also apply filters or change the view. So let's take an example, say, and group by organism, because we want to see what is the split up by organism among GenBank bacteria, and choose organism for the grouping. Now those 72,000 reads annotated by GenBank BCT division are regrouped by organism. You see the first column is now organism, and for each we know how many reads were annotated by sequences from this organism, as well as the gene name if available, and other information. And again, we could expand the row to have a look at the annotations in more detail, and also about the alignment. So let me close it. And here, <coughs> now, if I want to refine this search and say I want to select on some specific organism, I could say now I want to see anything where Acidovorac is mentioned, mainly in the organism field. Now I apply the filter and what we'll see is a total of 5,000 sequences annotated by Acidovorac sequences and you see the several strands in this list. So now we have refined to drill down into the Acidovorax reads. And we could go farther. We could decide to select on a few gene names or even group by gene name. In this case, we could do that. So let's take the gene name and group by this field. 
fact, now on this page, we can see that we have a total of 17 different genes represented in this set. And we could refine even further and ask for gene name being, for example, FFS and apply this new filter. So now Genome Quest is showing the reads that are annotating this FFS gene name. And now we have a total of more than 5,000 reads annotated by this gene, uh, some from Acid over Citrulli, some from this other strain. And at this point, we might want to export to a Word document those sequences or those results to a table, an Excel table, or the sequences to FASTA, Emble, or GeneBank. But we could also launch other applications, sequence analysis application on the desktop, such as Genius or Vector NTI. We could launch an assembly on those reads with the assembler, the Nubler assembler from 454, or even perform some statistics on this set by using some of the embossed applications like GC content or Finder, etc. So to conclude, uh, we have been covering the rapid annotation process that enabled the automatic annotation of millions of 454 and Sengo reads in a matter of hours. And this is available in the GenomeQuest platform. And that's pretty much it for today. So thanks for your time. Bye.